beautiful go creators Lilu here on the Kauai Hawaii and I'm with Tiffany <laughs> <laughs> and we're in front of this beautiful temple that Tiffany has created and her story is so inspiring I want to bring you in and I'm gonna take the camera and show you guys this is a beautiful place to stay if you ever come to Kauai and also if you want to create retreats and what have you this is awesome so check it out check out the magic in this place and uh, shall we Yay! <laughs> this is the Gaia A Sonic Temple and we welcome you. Nice, thank you. Mm. Oh, look at this. What a space. We've traveled all over the world and collected beautiful crystals and statues and different things that represent all the different energies of different frequencies and bring them all here to Kauai to share with people that are coming on a, on a spiritual quest but an adventure quest and just to find presence and love and the beauty of Kauai. Mmm, lots of treasures here, huh? Where are we going? Well, first we can start in here. This is the sound healing room. This is the, the main great room. And it can be used for teaching. We do our sound circles here on Sundays at 5.30 and we gather and circle. We have yoga here. We uh, do qigong and all kinds of different things. So it's a very transformative space that can be utilized. We have kids that stay here and they run around and play. We just ask that you be careful <laughs> yeah. of all the treasures. Um, this is the uh, Egyptian altar. I work a lot with Hathor and Isis, and so. Nice. But the most important presence here is the one that's right here in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> because this is all just representations of ourself. All the different cultures and places represent all the different women and men from all over the world. And yeah. So, that's really the premise of the temple of the God Essence or, or Gaia is healing for the heart of humanity and really bringing forth all of the different cultures, all of the different religions and everything and, and holding them in love in the heart of Mother Earth. So that's, that's really the, the strong, solid foundation that we hold here. Mm. This is an altar of the Divine Mother and we have uh, Tara and and Kuan Yin, we have the Virgin of Guadalupe, Mary Magdalene, so many different um, statues that I've collected from different places around the world. And then over here we have a collection of amazing instruments that everybody, um, all the instruments that I have are really so that anybody can play. So if people are just feeling inspired to be creative and to connect, um, you can pick up any instrument and they, they harmonize with themselves. So. You, know, you don't have to be a professional musician. Tell us what you have here. Tell us about some of them. So, well, we have the lap harps here. We have a, a stand, a small standing harp, crystal bowls, alchemy crystal bowls, a gold, platinum, diamond. We have um, gongs and a loop station, didgeridoos. You you name it in instruments, and we have it. <laughs> Lots of didgeridoos. Look uh -huh. at that. Bamboo drums. Stephen Farmer would love it. Ooh, <laughs> you might want to do a retreat here. <laughs> oh yeah, awesome. Yeah. We have a beautiful sound system for loop station and all kinds of stuff. Uh huh. So Elijah comes and plays here sometimes, <laughs> yeah, no? Yeah, he does. He loves to play here. Cool. Look at the space. And then we'll come on out here. Ta -da, the side. magic starts again. Look at this. Ooh, which way are we heading? We're gonna head this way. This is the massage area, so people can come and have their massage or their body work. And then we have different crystal grids that we like to. Mm. Really hold the space and the energy and the high vibes. Mm, with those beautiful mountains. Tell us about the mountains back there. Well, this mountain is really special for me. What I found is that it, it really collapses time and space. And so when you feel here, you feel like you're, you're just in the eternal now. You can't even be anywhere else. You just come into this peaceful state of just kind of 
relaxing and, and just settling in. And the views are so stunning that it just, you know, takes my breath away every morning when I wake up and think, oh. Tell us for a second here, because I think it's important to mention how you manifested this home. Because this didn't happen just by inheritance or anything like that. Far from it. Yeah, I've been on my spiritual path for 10 years, and I've been envisioning this actually for the last 10 years. And whenever I would say I'm going to create a temple, you know, people would be like, well, what for? And what does this look like? And everything. And, and I came from very humble beginnings. I actually got pregnant at 17 and had a daughter and lived in a trailer in New Mexico and mm -hmm. just really was on food stamps, struggled, and, you know, just really had that. But in my heart and in my soul, I knew that this was really going to come to fruition and I knew that if I just had the vision that it would happen and if I did the work and, and cleared my conduit that the vibration would attract what was needed to bring it forth yeah and that's the principles of the divine feminine is that magnetic energy and so it was with a lot of not doing but a lot of being ah. and a lot of internal work and so um when i came on to Kauai, it was interesting because everybody's like how are you going to make it how are you going to survive how are people going to find you you know but this was my dream was to come to eden and live uh -huh. you know, in the original template of heaven on earth and so the first year was rough, you know, it was like I, at times I didn't know, you know, where my next meal was going to come from and, you know, different things like that. And, and I'd been doing my work for a really long time. And so it was really interesting for me to find, you know, in a different, I was in Sedona in a spiritual Mecca where it was easy to manifest and easy to create because everybody came there for that. But when I came here, it was very different. And so I had to keep that faith and know that the abundance shall, you know, come from the earth and be given back to the earth and that Gaia was going to support me. And so when she when she, when she felt I had learned my lessons of living um, in the spirit of Aloha, uh -huh. I came giving. You know, I came giving the sound nice. circles and doing all this stuff for free and just really giving of myself and and you know, just giving of my services and doing as much as I could and 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 little by little, you know, it started to magnetize here. And so it was interesting because I had gone on a trip to Poland and I do activations at different sacred sites and I was called to Poland in the middle of winter. So all the money that I was going to use to create the temple had to go to this trip that I was called to. And it was at the time, you know, the poles are shifting and the mother was calling me. and. Um, Mm -hmm. And so I was very sad and I thought, oh, the temple's not going to happen. And so I came back and I didn't have any money and I got, give your notice, give your notice. In, in May, you will have the temple. So it was April and I gave my notice and I had $50 after I paid my rent. And my rent before was only like a hundred or a thousand, thirteen fifty or something. And this temple, you know, is, is substantially more, you know, it's a million dollar home. And, and I just didn't know how it was going to happen. And what I did was I put on Richard Diamond's Heartbeat of Kauai exactly what I wanted. And I put, you know, I want, you know, this type of house. I want it to have this space and, you know, all these different things. And um, uh, they called me and they said, oh, we have, you know, the perfect place for you. Well, I only have $50 in my account. Mm. And so I knew this was the place because there were so many signs and different things like that. And I said, I said, can you give me two weeks? And so I just wow. trusted that the money was going to come. And then, lo and behold, all of a sudden, the sister goddesses, angels from Australia, from different parts of the world, began to come. And I was told to go onto the mountain and play my harp in the canyon. And I played my harp in the canyon, and I met these amazing spiritual sisters from Australia. And they came to the sound circle, and they purchased andaras, and they got all these treasures. And then I went to, got invited to another earth grid keeper, Judith Moore, to be part of her retreat. And then treasures were, you know, were purchased, and and everything was used, you know, to manifest this. Mm. And so within the two weeks, I had enough abundance to be able to establish. And I really wanted people to know that when we're in alignment with our divine purpose and we have that faith and that trust and we just leap and step into it, that, that if we are in that place of knowing that we can receive and we can be these stewards, mm -hmm. that the universe responds. Mm -hmm. But we have to let go of that mindset of thinking yeah. the how and the why and, you know, do I deserve and, and, and so that was the biggest piece for me is just to take that leap and not be attached. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't manifest well... 
It's not know? meant to be. It's not meant to be. But clearly this and was, and you knew, oh, wow, so let's continue yeah, the tour. So How is. exciting, what a beautiful manifestation. So for me, this is the temple of the mother, the temple of Gaia, where people come and they are in their heart and they can relax. Yeah. And they can just be. Mm. So. More yeah. crystals and skulls. Yeah, the skulls of, of the, I've collected these in different places and um, had them blessed and, you know, by different other, like the Mitchell Hedges skull, I lived down the road from them. I didn't even know until I felt the vibrational shift and then found out that they were living like three quarters of a mile and their the frequency is up to 10 miles. Mm. And so um, I've danced with Synergy and I've had a very strong connection with the Magdalene energy and the energy of the crystal skulls. And so mm. this is part of why they've come. And this part is the eating area and... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love those big decks. Ooh. Oh, me too. The most beautiful thing here is the nature. Um, here we are surrounded by all of the mountains and the views, and, and there's an etheric light city above that I felt very strongly and when I do mm. the sound journeys I can see it and it's really interesting because when we're journeying up through the sound circles we all gather and play instruments together and we're all going into kind of like this shamanic state and everything like that and I've seen like let go of the density you know if you want to reach the light cities and bring them into form letting go of the density of the heaviness of you know the load that we carry and so my kahuna taught me that, you know, we are all born with a bowl of light. And that Wailua is known as the bowl of light. And throughout life we, we attract these lodestones. And here is the place to let go of those lodestones so that the bowl can fully shine again. Mm. And so that's, that's what this is for mm -hmm. me, this area, is about the gateway of Hawaii, of Kauai, and just really letting go of what's no longer needed so that you can be your truest self and your essence. Sweet! Look at this! <laughs> this is um, Waiale Ale, and it's the wettest, known as the wettest place in the world, this mountain over here. And it's a uh, it's very sacred water hole um, called the Blue Hole. And it's, it's just a very powerful, beautiful mountain. Mmm, all the way up there. But this is the view from the guests um, from the guest room. Look at this bed! I just love that you can sleep there, some guests sleep there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we wanted to make a beautiful goddess bed and, and just have spaces where people could lounge and relax mm. and enjoy and, and just enjoy their, their nice. stay here. And have things that were, you know, for me it's about having um, affordability. Yeah. yeah. So this is the Pele room. Pele was an important goddess in helping me to um, come here, and she was the one that invited me and wanted me to share. So I dedicated a whole room to her and, mm. and, and her love. Pele. <laughs> yeah. More rooms back there. <laughs> we have guests, so. <laughs> yes. And then here we have all the, the beautiful creations that the goddesses brought through to help to support the temple. We, we do a lot of um, uh, by donation things. And so when people come and support the jewelry and they make donations and different things, it helps me to be able to do the sound currents and to do the sound circles and things and not charge, which is really important to me and you know, helps with the sacred travel so that I can offer that as well yeah. you know, in different places around the world. So Tell us about this. This is very interesting. It actually, I wanted to, uh, I went to go see John of God. He was one of the first um, people that I, that I awakened with. And it was just such a profound activation. And I had a lot of light bed treatments when I was there and I wanted a table. And I was told no, that I couldn't have one. And I said, why, spirit? And they said, because I will bring you in that of the sacred feminine. And it was actually six years that it took before the energy, my energy was enough to activate the crystals. But one day I was in a meditation and I woke up and I had this vision. And this is what came through. And it has, um, when, when the lights are on, it actually, it looks like little mini universes, these crystals. And they're the seven chakras. And then you have the, the, um, the pyramid that anchors in, 
into the earth and it's got the spirals and so it really goes with the sound and the frequency of the flower of life in the in the song that I sing and so it's really in resonance with my vibration and it's got a, a fairy crystal on the top so it's just it's just really a profound experience and it's like a, a bath wash or a, a light wash and we use that during the sound circles and we all sit inside of the pyramid and then we do prayers for the earth and everybody gets to share in their voice and it's a sound mandala so each person has their expression and it creates to a greater whole and I feel like it's a community building tool where we all get to express ourselves and we all know the importance of our unique frequency in adding to the greater whole. Mm. So it's one of the joys that I really just, it just brings my heart lots of joy. I have a little request. Uh -huh. Would you play some harp and sing for us? Sure, yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
the instrument and they, they harmonize with themselves. So, you know, you don't have to be a professional musician. Tell us what you have here. Tell us about some of them. So, well, we have the lap harps here. We have a, a stand, a small standing harp, crystal bowls, alchemy crystal bowls, a gold, platinum, diamond. We have um, gongs and a loop station, didgeridoos, you, you name it in instruments and we have it. <laughs> Lots of didgeridoos, look uh -huh. at that. And bamboo drums. Stephen Farmer would love it. Ooh, <laughs> you might want to do a retreat here. <laughs> oh yeah, awesome. Yeah. We have a beautiful sound system for loop station and all kinds of stuff. Uh huh. So Elijah comes and plays here sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah, no? Yeah, he does. He loves to play here. So the temple of the God Essence or, or Gaia is healing for the heart of humanity and really bringing forth all of the different cultures, all of the different religions, and everything, and, and holding them in love in the heart of Mother Earth. So that's that's really the the strong, solid foundation that we hold here. Mm. This is an altar of the Divine Mother, and we have uh, Tara and. And Kuan Yin, we have the Virgin of Guadalupe, Mary Magdalene, so many different um, statues that I've collected from different places around the world. And then over here we have a collection of amazing instruments that everybody, um, all the instruments that I have are really so that anybody can play. So if people are just feeling inspired to be creative and to connect, um, you can pick up any. Beautiful co creators, Lilu here on the Kauai, Hawaii, and I'm with Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in front of this beautiful temple that Tiffany has created, and her story is so inspiring. I want to bring you in and I'm going to take the camera and show you guys. This is a beautiful place to stay if you ever come to Kauai, and also if you want to create retreats and what have you, this is awesome. So check it out, check out the magic in this place, and uh, shall we? Yay! <laughs> this is the Gaia A Sonic Temple and we welcome you. Nice, thank you. Mm. Oh, look at this. What a space. We've traveled all over the world and collected beautiful crystals and statues and different things that represent all the different energies of different frequencies and bring them all here to Kauai to share with people that are coming on a, on a spiritual quest but an adventure quest and just to find presence and love and the beauty of Kauai. Mmm, lots of treasures here, huh? Where are we going? Well, first we can start in here. This is the sound healing room. This is the, the main great room and it can be used for teaching. We do our sound circles here on Sundays at 5.30 and we gather in circle. We have yoga here. We uh, do qigong and all kinds of different things. So it's a very transformative space that can be utilized. We have kids that stay here and they run around and play. We just ask that you be careful because <laughs> yeah. of all the treasures. Um, this is the uh, Egyptian altar. I work a lot with Hathor and Isis, and so... Nice. But the most important presence here is the one that's right here in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's you! <laughs> and you! <laughs> because this is all just representations of ourself. All the different cultures and places represent all the different women and men from all over the world. And yeah. So that's really the premise.